My name is Christopher Coyle. Uh, this is my Rolls-Royce Corniche, and I'm from Walnut Creek, California. Well, I was uh, set up to bring my Ferrari, and I sold it a month ago. So I still had the passes, so I figured, why not come to the show with my Rolls-Royce? It's a 1982 Corniche. Uh, I've had some extensive work done on it recently, and it just won third in the Nationals um, in Tahoe last week. So it's, uh, it's a beautiful car, and it's running fantastic. This is my third time at Concorsa. I, no, fourth time. I had, I showed my 550 Ferrari twice, and I showed my 599 Ferrari once, and then I was gonna show my 599 again this year, but uh, I flipped it, and um, uh, I decided to bring this one. It's a great show. I mean, the, the weather's fantastic, and the whole car week here at Monterey is fantastic. You know, if you're a car freak, this is where you come. I think that this was kind of the dream car you know, when I look back at my life, a car that I'd always wanted, and I've got to a point in my life where I could afford it. Everybody told me I was crazy to buy it, and I bought it anyway. And they were proven right, I was crazy. <laughs> and this one is uh, very well put together. Uh, it's, I've actually, in the last six months, I've had a new engine put in it, and uh, which was uh, quite an ordeal to go through. It was like six months in surgery. So it was a long process, but now she's all up to snuff and uh, running excellent. You know, original engine, nothing's been changed, it's just a different block. Uh, the block had a crack in it after I bought it, and um, you know, big surprise. The worst thing you want to hear. But I got through it, uh, you know, I, I, I tell the story that my friend said, uh, oh, that car's a pain in the ass, you should torch it. And I'm like, no, no, I'm gonna fix it. <laughs> it's definitely a car show for all ages, and anybody that's an enthusiast with cars, I mean, you look through the, the field here and it's just, it's amazing the selection of cars here. ISO Griffos, you know, Lamborghinis, Maseratis, every uh, version of Ferrari ever built pretty much is here. It's fantastic, you know? It's, it's like the, the show for, well, we're, we're in Northern California, this is the show of the year. You know, the whole Monterey car week is, but this show here, especially if you're in Italian cars, it's definitely the place to be. When guests come to Concorso, whether it's their first time or their 33rd time, what we always look for and we appreciate hearing is what they enjoy. Now, some of them like to also share, maybe the traffic was a little too busy for them, but they don't really don't get wrapped up in that. Um, what they really take away is a special guest that we had, maybe a special uh, interview on stage, because we have interviews and activity at the stage all day. And if there's, there was a special guest, a special interview, they take that away, because then after that interview concludes, they were able to go up and talk to that person. Tonino Lamborghini, the son of Ferruccio Lamborghini, was here three years ago, and he had the most compelling interview on stage. It was fascinating and really funny. And I'd never met him before until that day. And that, to me, was quite engaging. And for those who were watching, they were able to go up and talk to Tonino, who would talk with anybody. And he talks a lot, and I don't mean that negatively. He, he, he's really got a lot to say. And so people will have written to us about their opportunity to talk with Tonino, and that was a memorable experience for them. Or Valentino Baboni, talking with this famed Lamborghini test driver, that he's, he too is very accessible. So they remember the people, especially these celebrities, and it's always the car. There's some car, whether it's a Lamborghini, whether it's a, a Ferrari, or even, a Seattle. there's always going to be one that strikes somebody's fancy. So they usually walk away talking about a special car and one or two special guests that they had a chance to meet and they're so appreciative. There are not many events you can go to where these guests are there, but are also available. When I go to Italy, and I go oh, about three times every two years, um, and I mention Concorso Italiano, and people, their first reaction is, oh, California. Of course, everybody knows California. And there's almost a reverence in Italy. When I talk about Concorso Italiano, they, they know of it, they're aware of it, they want to be here, they want to come someday, to, and they tell me, wouldn't it be fun? But then here we are in the United States, and I talk with people about Concorso Italiano, and you get that same wistful look in their eyes. You know that they want to make it. They say, yes, I'm going to make it this year. And they talk about how special it would be to be able to spend just a weekend here. I was in the bank, and the teller is telling me, he sees the, the name on the bank account, it says Concorso Italiano, he says, oh, I want to go there one day. I've never spoken with the guy before in my life. And so he asked me um, what we're doing this year, and I'm telling him all the cars that we're celebrating, and 
he just lost. And now there's a long line of people behind me. I'm sure they weren't very appreciative of that conversation I was having, but nonetheless, he was having a great time. And it made me feel pretty good because he knew about Concorso and I was able to help him out a little bit with his enthusiasm.